Hi, this video is about MS and heat. Now, multiple sclerosis is a disease of the central nervous system, which um, in the central nervous system, we're talking about nerve conduction. Now, heat is particularly bothersome with people with MS um, when it comes to nerve conduction. Um, let's take the example of a jacuzzi. Okay, if a normal person gets into a jacuzzi and they're in there for two minutes and they get out, or a very, very hot shower, for instance, they're moving a little bit slower, sluggish, or whatever, but they're still able to ambulate very well. Now, a person with MS, after soaking in a jacuzzi for 10 minutes or 15 minutes, may not be able to get out of it at all. Okay, it has that much of an effect. Um, what kind of heat are we talking about? All kinds of heat. Um, okay, I'm in my kitchen right now. Okay, so I, I have heat when I'm cooking. Um, it's hot in here. I'm using energy when I'm trying to um, take things off the stove and put them on and so on and so forth. Um, heat can come from high temperatures, sitting in the sun, being in the sun, um, especially uh, if it's hot outside and you have a humidity factor thrown in there. It, it really, really intensifies um, heat coming from hot flashes, fevers, uh, even the time of the day. If it's two o'clock in the afternoon, uh, if your body temperature goes up even to uh, one degree, um, it really, really will magnify the effects of MS. Um, and your body may be cooler in the morning so you don't feel it as much. Okay, so first and foremost though, one of the things you have to remember about heat is that even though it intensifies the symptoms, of MS, it will bring them out and cause them to become worse and it magnifies them. It will not cause a flare-up, it will not cause an attack with any kind of residual damage. It's important to remember that. Now many, many years ago, uh, after one of the years that I had done some uh, volunteer work for the MS Society, I received a gift. And I just, I just totally love this gift, and I'm going to show you what it means. I think it is so representative of what I'm talking about right now. I received this cup, and you can see it's, it's old. It's the old logo on the, on, you know, the old MS logo. Now, on the back of the cup, or the mug, there are a bunch of lines. I don't know if you could see. Okay, there are words that are imprinted in these lines. If you look really close, you might be able to make them out. But for the most part, they're kind of hard to see. Okay, now watch what happens. I'm going to add to this mug hot water. I better be careful here. I don't have the skills of Rachel Ray. Okay, now let me be careful here. As the heat permeates into the mug, see closely, the words start to come out. Okay? Hopefully you could see them a little bit better if I put this closer. And it says, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. See how it's really bringing it out. Okay. So that's the idea. The, the heat brings out, it intensifies the symptoms of MS. Now, when this cup cools down, okay, or even if I wanted to escalate the cooling process by filling it up with ice water, what happens? The words disappear. The cup is not damaged. There is no residual damage whatsoever. Okay, it was just a temporary worsening. It's like your body. It's a temporary worsening of symptoms with no residual damage, which is good news. Okay, bad news is he's affect us. The good news is it doesn't last. So what to do if you get overly hot? Um, cool yourself down. Ice packs are a favorite of mine. Um, I put them behind my neck. I put them behind my back. I carry them with me. If I'm going out for an outing, I'll take a, a six pack uh, and fill it up with ice packs. Okay, drink cold water, take an ice shower. If you want to read a little bit more about what I'm talking about, if you go to the excerpts, book excerpts, the tag on my website, I do have a write up, which is a sample chapter of my book. And you can read a little bit more of what I'm talking about. I hope this helps you um, and, um, and reassures you a little bit about uh, the effects of HEDA and MS. Have a great day. Bye now.